Now I forgot to mention in the last video, when we're doing a multiplication such as 38 times 91, even when you're doing this left to right, you may have some trouble. So a few tips. First of all, you may want to close your eyes. When you close your eyes, it may be easier to visualize. There's fewer distra there are fewer distractions. Uh, second of all, you may start forgetting the intermediate steps. So you, let's say you got 2,700 and now you forgot. So you did 2,700, then you did 720, and then you're like, what was that again? So then you just do it over. Now, you're not starting from scratch because since you've just done it, when you do it over, you will be doing it faster. So it's okay to say 2,700 plus, um, what is it, 2,700 plus 720, that's 3420, and then you do 38, and then you say 38 plus what, what was it? Then you redo it, 720, uh, 2,700, 720, that's 3420 and 38. Now you sort of remember it a little better, and now you get 3458. So that's just a little point, few pointers on the last lesson. All right. Today we're going to talk about squares. And there's really two things I have to say. All right. First of all, memorize them. So which ones are we talking about? I recommend 1 through 20 for most people. Now, if you really want to be an overachiever, I would go through 31. Why did I pick 31? Because 31 squared is 961, which is the last three-digit number under 1,000. So in practice, these are the numbers you tend to see. So a lot of kids, let's say, know 11 squared is 121, then they don't really know 12 squared. So you should know 12 squared is 144, 13 squared is 169, and onwards, up to 20 and I'll usually remember all my squares up to 31 you're welcome to learn more of them but in practice I haven't needed much more so I don't want to waste your guys time all right now the second thing difference let's list some of these squares all right So what's the difference here? It's three. Here, it's five. Here, it's seven. 16 through 25 is nine. And here it's 11. So you probably noticed or hopefully noticed there's a pattern. Three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, 15. It's gonna keep on going. So it's the next odd number. Now this is a fun fact, but this is also gonna help you remember your squares. So how is this going to help you? So let's say you know 20 squared is 400, and you know 19 squared is 361, but you forgot 18 squared. This difference is 39, and since now we're actually going backwards, this difference should be 37, because it's the previous odd number. So instead of multiplying this out in your head, you subtract 37 from 361, and hopefully, you get 324. So let's look at another one. So let's say you know 10 squared, you know 11 squared, and you don't know 12 squared yet. So you say this is 21, so add 23 to get the next one. And so now, even though you're going to have to memorize this, and I encourage you to memorize it, Learning them and memorizing them will take you a fraction of the time if you use this trick. 